Welcome everyone, nice to have you back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic, we check the proper functioning of our viscous vent. They are being mounted in all of our 107 models from 71 to 89. Electro-powered fans were not being used. The early models were equipped with metal fans. In the later years, plastic fans were mounted. How does it operate? This is today's topic right after introduction. Please stay put. Well, before we start checking on the functioning of our vicious fan clutch, let me point out the difference between the fan clutch that has been mounted with our models and the electrically powered fans which are being used in modern cars. Our fan clutch is directly connected to the pulley of the crankshaft and starts rotating with it once the engine has been started but with a lower number of rotations in comparison to the rotations of the crankshaft itself. We are talking about a 300 to 600 rotations per minute of the fan. An electrically powered fan is different. It does not rotate as long as the engine is cold. It starts turning when, when the engine has the right operating temperature. The signal is being given by temperature sensors connected to the coolant system of the engine. Checking the functioning is an easy task, easy to do, really easy. To be more descriptive, to make you understand how a viscous fan clutch works, there is a drawing on the upper right hand side. Right behind the fan is the housing of the viscous clutch. In there, a bimetal spring made of two pieces of metal bonded together with significantly different thermo expansion properties, as well as a lever which is covering or opening a hole. A lever covers that hole to interrupt the flow of oil, like this the number of rotations is being controlled. If the engine has reached a temperature of 105 degrees Celsius and is increasing the number of rotations, proportionally to this the number of rotations of the fan is also increasing. Here with a type 117 engine V8, let us say the number of rotations of the engine is slightly below 3850, the fan is doing a 3000 rotations. Once you increase the rotations of the engine above 3850, the mechanism of the clutch sets in and is reducing rotations of the fan as this is being considered as a cooling of the engine by airstream. This is regulated by the centrifugal clutch with a spring and a bimetal part inside the housing of the clutch. Before we start testing the fan clutch, the engine has to reach a temperature of a 105 degrees Celsius. It is a simple visual inspection. The car is standing, the engine is doing 850 rotations at 105 degrees Celsius, the fan is now doing between a 300 and a 600 rotations. Then increase the rotations of the engine to a 3000 and you will notice the action of the fan. You will easily notice the difference in rotations by the airflow. Once you exceed 3850 revolutions of the engine, you will notice that the fan is turning a lot slower, since the centrifugal clutch starts to set in. Because the clutch has been set this way, at 3850 revolutions of the engine, this one has enough airflow from moving forward, therefore cooling by airstream. When you have an engine type 116, which were mounted in earlier models such as 4.5 and 5.0 liters, the centrifugal clutch of the fan sets in at a significantly higher number of rotations of the engine. Nota bene, 4550 revolutions were needed per minute. But since this is an engine type 117, it already starts with a 3850 revolutions. I hammer away on this again and again. Do not get any wild ideas such as stopping the fan, touching it with anything, tools or a newspaper or anything to slow it down. I guarantee you, you get broken fingers and a damaged fan clutch for sure. Just do not try to be a hero, don't try to be a jackass.
if you, after testing, think that the clutch is not working properly, the entire clutch needs to be replaced. You cannot open the clutch since it is bonded and sealed. Well, you can pry open the old clutch to have a look inside, uh, just out of curiosity, just to see how it works. But you can never reuse it once it has been opened. It makes sense to check this once in a while since these V8 engines tend to have thermal problems such as overheating of the pistons at the back close to the firewall. They tend to have a 20 degrees elevated temperature in comparison to the front end pistons due to poor ventilations at the rear end. In addition to that, when ambient temperatures are high, you want some peace of mind by knowing that the engine is not overheating. Hope you have liked this short video, how to check the functioning of the fan clutch. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching. I would appreciate a subscription. YouTube statistics told me that 83% of my spectators do not have a subscription at all, which is a pity, a real pity. Therefore, I would kindly ask for your subscription. I would highly appreciate it. Have a look at the community section to get a preview of the videos which I'm working on next. Take care everyone, see you around next time. Bye bye.